All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to uh, today's voiceover. So what you're about to watch is my third day running the Bulgarian light type training system, Bulgarian method. So basically what you do is squat every single day, looking to improve your squat, your max squat. So you basically work up to a heavy single every single day of the week. Uh, last three days in a row, I've been doing low bar, and it's finally been feeling a little bit better. So I decided to do it um, for the third day in a row. Then today... I honestly might do it again to try to tweak some things because it, it's a very, like getting back into it technicality wise, it's been kind of tough for me. Uh, just getting that feeling back because I've been doing high bar for about a year straight, but anyways, I was supposed to max out on high bar today and then deadlift uh, just a, a, like a decently heavy single, but we'll see. Anyways, today's workout, you'll see um, right now we're just warming up. And the main thing that I've been having trouble with is the positioning. Um, because I kind of taco squat. If you guys know what that is, that means you bend way over rather than stay upright. And this is way better than what it used to be. If you go look at my footage from last year, this is 10 times better. And I attribute that to switching over to high bar, which forces you to stay more upright in the squat. And uh, it strengthens your back, your core, so you're able to stay more upright when you go back to low barring like I am now. And... It's kind of weird though right now because last year my max high bar squat was like 425. And this year I've actually hit a 495 high bar squat. And uh, this, the weird thing is like the highest I ever hit low bar after that was a 525. And I can't seem to get back to it. So anyways, today as you'll see, 475 will be my top. I do try attempt 495 but I fail it. And... Uh, I think a lot of it that has to do with just a psychological problem. Like, I doubt myself. Here, I kind of had a weird shift in my hips, so I kind of, like, misgrooved it, so to say. And this 495 is just absolutely embarrassing. I don't even know what happened. But the thing is, like, I hit 495 uh, two days ago, and it was actually pretty smooth. You can go check that out on my Instagram. But today, I ended up failing it. And uh, we're going to get better at it. It's just, I think it's more of a mental, a psychological problem right now than anything else like it was just it's just it's stupid like i over myself and that could be it but anyways uh we're gonna keep working on it and hopefully add some pounds to my squat hopefully go to at least get to at least a 550 because my highest i've ever gotten was a 525 on low bar and hopefully in the next like six weeks that happens so anyways here um i haven't really flat bench in a long time because i'm running small of junior for bench which we'll talk about in a second here and that has been great for incline bench um so i decided to just do do a single on flat um today so but the weird thing is right now with doing so much incline pressing like i feel like the strength's there to do way more weight and uh but it, it just feels like it's like hidden because like fatigue or something like that you know like it feels harder like 225 i could do that for probably about 10 paused I've done it for eight paws before, so and like doing two reps at 225 felt heavy, so then we only threw on 255, and I hit this single right here, and it just felt excruciating. And I've done this before in the past for five reps, so anyways, I think it's just fatigue. But the weird thing is, which I don't understand, is the incline. So this is my last week of small of junior on the incline bench. Right now we have 190 for uh, seven sets of five. And it, it's weird because, like, I feel tired, I feel fatigued, but my strength just keeps improving on this lift. You know, I haven't missed one set or one rep when it comes to small junior for bench. And I can see the visual gains in my chest, uh, and you can feel it when it comes back to the incline. It's kind of weird, like, the incline doesn't give me any pain either. Like, I have no joint soreness, and it's just awesome because I've just been able to progress so rapidly with this haven't missed one set of rep and i can't wait to see if i can finally do like 225 for like three reps because going into this my max incline was 235 for one and uh usually people gain about 20 pounds 10 or 15 to 20 pounds off a small of junior cycle for their bench press so hopefully i this translates and i think it will because i can feel i can see the visual gains i keep making progress like i've never done this much volume with uh, this amount of weight, I had a 10 by 3 last week with 205. Did not miss one rep. It felt great. And, you know, in the past, I could do maybe 205 for five reps for one set max. I'm talking like RP 11. And uh, that's that's been good, good to see. So I did seven sets of five today. I'm not going to show you 
all the sets, but uh, now, after all that, I come in, I still do some accessory work for my chest here, did three sets of 20, just some, uh, just some flies, the fly machine, the pack deck, whatever you like to call it, just to get some blood flow. I find this to help, um, it hasn't, you know, I've been training extra volume after that high volume benching stuff, and it's been good too, so I'm going to keep keep doing it usually when it comes to squat or something like that you absolutely can't but the bench i've found it uh it's fun to be actually beneficial and has helped so i'm not going to drop it just exactly yet and then also i can run over here and i do three by 20 tricep push downs just for the triceps and usually what i like to do is mix mix up my accessory exercises like i won't do pack deck every day i won't do tricep push downs with a cable every day some days i'll do like the dip machine um, other days I'll do like a press machine, overhead press machine. Some days I'll do dumbbells, uh, French press, things like that. And usually just about three sets of 20, three sets of high reps, hard, hard work, high intensity. Anyways, then now on to shoulders. Shoulders have been blowing up lately, especially the lateral raises. So like one day of the week, I've been hitting these just about every single day I came to the gym. So today we did five sets of 15 with the 20s, had one set with the 25s. And that went pretty good. And then on my day, my days that I don't bench, I usually just do the lateral raise machine, and that's been good. And then also rear delts. I've been doing this machine every single day. Some days lighter, some days heavier. Same thing, about three sets of 20. And uh, I've been loving the results I've been seeing from from uh, training like this, especially when it comes to my bench press. The squat is going to come around. It's kind of like when you run that Bulgarian system, every single day you're not going to be 100%. Um and a lot of the thing is, too, is just getting in the groove, dialing that in, and getting confident. Like, Because I haven't done low bar in so long, it just feels so odd to me. And that kind of screws me up. It's like a mental block, even though the strength's there. Then we got some flexing footage. Um, staying pretty lean. Drinking a lot of milk. And uh, eating a lot of eggs. And uh, I think that's helping out with the muscle mass gain. I'm about 214 pounds right now. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we hit some big numbers here soon. That's kind of the goal of my channel. Like, I love the aesthetics part of things, but strength is also a very big passion of mine. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to update you guys hopefully twice a week on this channel when it comes to my training. And uh, for more, like, vlog-type videos, more informative videos, subscribe. See, uh, see you guys next time.